the town, bungling heights, white picket fences, easy smiles, a place where ladies of the night would even give you your wallet back. But now the streets are lonely. No one's bungling while the bungling heights burglar is on the loose. The sounds of joy replaced by the stench of fear and frustration from the local PD. It's a warm, muggy evening. The kind of night that makes your pistol stick to your thighs. The local gumshoes and I were burning the midnight oil to bring the scum back down. Detective McEnany, the bungling case, where are we? Nick Tracy, the officer on the scene collected a blood stain from our last burglary. As soon as I got it here, I stuck it in the Applied Biosystems Rapid Hit ID system. That was about 90 minutes ago, so we should have a DNA result any second now. DNA? How do you spell that? Um, D. David and Nancy A. Adam. You know, the basic building block of the genetic code? Deoxyribonucleic acid. Kind of like you get half your DNA from your mom. What language are you speaking? How's the sketch artist coming along? Uh, well, not so good. But the DNA process was so ridiculously easy, I figured I'd get that done right away. McEnany was wasting time with David, Nancy, and Adam. We need warm bodies out there, flushing out from witnesses. I know what works. Been pounding the beat for years. Heck got underwear older than he's been on the job. Eyewitnesses, where are we? Yeah. It was a guy, he was like 6'2". I'd say she was about 5 foot 11 or so. But he definitely looked like the guy I used to work with up there at the petting zoo. Probably a Virgo. She spoke with a heavy Russian accent. He was feeding the goat and got his pinky bit off down to the knuckle there. No wedding ring because I checked. He looked like he worked out, but he wouldn't refuse a taco, you know what I mean? My Russian is not too up to date. When he walked by. <sighs> but I mean, I didn't really see him though. If you guys find this guy, can I get his number? Well, I guess we can all agree that it was a human. But we're still trying to get two descriptions that match. But what we do have is a DNA match, which is the most accurate evidence that we have in this case. A human? Hmm, that's a great lead. If you got any of those in a lineup? Uh, how about this? We ID'd the perp. Now you're talking my language, McEnany. We also got hits to three prior Bungling Heights burglaries. So this guy's been active for a while. Hits? Who's hitting who? Did you get a confession? Listen, man, a hit means the DNA matched. Watch your tone, McEnany. But how can we pin him to all four crimes? It's been years since those other burglaries. We've got to be sure. Uh, yeah. Well, our witnesses, David, Nancy, and Adam, they all came forward again. Well, that sounds like a slam dunk. After all these years, and all those pairs of underwear. And that's how I, Nick Tracy, single-handedly solved the case of the bungling Heights burglar with a little help from David, Nancy, and Adam. Actually, that's how David, Nancy, Adam, and I solved this case ridiculously fast, thanks to the Applied Biosystems Rapid Hit ID system. No one's asking you, McEnany. And to this day, if you close your eyes, you'll hear the bungling children in the wind with their bungling things. And their bungles in bungling heights.